We're going to give it the old college try here, but I doubt you can hear me. If you can, hey, what's up? So we made it over here to the Pony Express cabin on our walk. What's going on? And judging how uh, the wind is out there, I'm sure you probably didn't even hear me uh, there on a quick mic test. So uh, we giving it the old one-two up in here. And uh, wanted to just start off this intro basically telling you that, uh, you know, this uh, little clip that I got put together is just a little bit of, uh, you know, just some uh, Flapping of the lips and uh, doing some walking and talking. Ain't no dimes and nickel going into my pocket doing this stuff. I just do it fine and share with y'all. So uh, once again, uh, I got myself a couple of clips here. I'm about to slap out there for y'all, and I hope you enjoy. And you know where we go from here. So stick around and enjoy the show. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Snow Doggy. Snow Doggy go run run. Good Mr. Puppy. Yep, the uh, wind seems to be down at the moment, so uh, we're gonna try and take advantage of this and uh, do a nice little walk with Mr. Puppy right now. And not just any walk. We won layering it again, Bubba. You ready? Of course you are. Yeah, we're basically gonna walk his path today because our path as well is uh, nice and clear and uh, a lot easier to uh, walk on versus uh, lumps and fluffs of snow and all the different depths that you sink into as you're trying to walk. Sometimes it's kind of Best thing I could relate it to is walking on sand or walking up sand dunes. You know, only difference is here, when you walk on certain patches, you can definitely slip worse than you would in oil. So uh, we left the house with better tread shoes today. And uh, gives also Mr. Puppy here uh, extra opportunity to become snow doggy like he's uh, wanting to do. Uh, he just knows that once he jumps that wall, you know, it's fair game for him to know if he can get through it all or not. And uh, sometimes it's been kind of kind of rough and tough if <laughs> you see the height he is. But he makes do and he gets through. So while I'm walking here, I'll just take a moment to share some of the beauty out here while I can. Once again, nice frozen over pond. And here's Havoc all the way down there. He's a... Uh, Ready to go exploring a little bit more like he usually does, but the snow has got him kind of puzzled. Yesterday uh, at one of his school runners, he actually trailed down a rabbit. Unfortunately, he couldn't get to it. Look at him. See? Yep. <laughs> he don't sink. Uh, he's testing it, but uh, anyway. Yeah, yesterday uh, he ended up trailing down a rabbit, and uh, upon catching the rabbit, well, once he got to one of the pillars the rabbit was at, um, it just happened to be right behind it. And whenever he went around, the rabbit came the other way and just bolted away before even he realized it was uh, that close. And uh, he missed out. Uh, but 
hey, Lisa's nose, his front matacuses are still working to a good standard, which, you know, I'm proud of him for. Currently, it's maybe 20, 25, depending on your uh, location here in town. Uh, once again, you know, you got the mountains that you cross over here from the east to the west side and west to the east. And uh, more on the west side, the winds are blowing pretty hard uh, on that side. You know, had to come through a couple of snowdrift walls that you couldn't even see the highway. Uh, and, uh, you know, it can get a little hectic, especially when you're going to distant speed, not knowing what's in front of you. But hey, I'm not trying to scare anyone off on that. But yeah, we make do with what we can, how we can. And uh, right now I'm taking true advantage of this moment. Like I said, there's no wind and we usually get wind on daily anywhere and everywhere around here. So I uh, figured once I dropped off the uh, little misses here at her work, came back here to give Havoc his regular routine run, which he gets about two times a day over in just this area. Uh, there's multiple other areas too that he gets. He probably gets about four runs a day sometimes. Uh, two as an average. You know, with this uh, extra weather we've had thrown down on us, you know, it gives a couple of extra obstacles and uh, hurdles for us to, you know, get through. Uh, couldn't even really give him a school run of the other day because I wasn't chancing going down that road to get stuck because they couldn't even keep up on the uh, plowing. That's how much snow, obviously, if you see here, that dropped and laid down on top of us, uh, came down and even they were understaffed and a couple of the plows were even broke down on the road. I had to get out to take the little miss to work and that was how I was able to learn and know about that. For most others, they, uh, you know, despise this type of weather work. Honestly, it's like putting on a set of ice skates for me and getting in the car and just, you know, having fun with it. You know, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I find it quite comforting, just like uh, serious thunderstorms or any other type of heavy weather. I don't mind driving through it at all. Uh, it's sometimes the other people you have to always make sure you're ready to have a lookout for. Here's another decent viewpoint here. I figure I'd share. Havoc's like, hurry up, Dad. But yeah, as you see here, I'm still doing my uh, one layer cold box. And uh, to tell you the truth, uh, within time, I've actually so I've actually seen a difference in just the way my blood, uh, uh, I guess, flows through my body. You know, I usually am cold-blooded. You know, at all times. You know, I can't hold heat or whatever. And uh, I keep a heat pad on the bed uh, to, you know, maintain my heat. Even in the summertime, I've always had to leave it on high. And right now. I have only had to really keep it on two or even off sometimes because I'm holding that internal heat again. And it only started this year, especially when I started doing this right here. Started uh, learning different ways of how to uh, heal your body naturally. And this is one of them. Besides that, I'm also, also going to the gym I try to go on a daily basis. I at least take the weekends off, uh, but usually do five days a week and I hit the pool and I'm there for about an hour and a half to two hours, uh, depending on the time. So yeah, I get my uh, pool time in. Physical therapy is starting back up here uh, next week, actually. Uh, haven't had that for a couple of weeks, but I've tried to stay on top of my own personal. You know, during the holidays here that came through, you know, I took off like anybody and everybody else is going to, and I indulged a little bit too much on this, that, and the other. And uh, to a point, I'm, you know, not going to even complain about it. You know, I'm just going to get back at it and get back on the schedule that uh, I'm trying to do as far as for my, my body, my posture, uh, all the above, my health. 
and uh, he ain't got no problem with me doing all this stuff too. So yeah, I could honestly say I really haven't been sitting around, you know, I've been learning a few different uh, things as far as even in the kitchen, you know, cooking and whatnot and different recipes I've been putting together. Uh, I've actually been enjoying, even right now, just uh, different types of salads that I've been eating and the dressings I've been making and the different vegetables and fruits that I've been adding, you know, to try out different flavors on the palate. And uh, I'm quite pleased with all the uh, different experimenting. I haven't had any wrongs yet really come my way. Maybe something's been a little too salty here. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing okay with that. Even making some uh, homemade uh, uh, organic uh, walnut, candied walnuts and pecans. And even uh, cereal, uh, cereal bars. And that was kind of interesting to uh, learn and obtain that skill as well. Made up some good maple and molasses and some brown sugar type uh, pecans and walnuts with other little Christmas flavors you know you put in there. Uh, besides that, like I said, cereal bars and uh, that's on the sweet side there. Still making Mr. Puppy's jerky. You know, he's enjoying that, you know, instead of, you know, purchasing it out the uh, pet store here. You know, I know at least what's going into his body from what I have at the house. And, you know, once in a while, you know, if needs be, we'll buy the store-bought jerky. But also, I'm saving us about 15 to 20 bucks a bag uh, with me making it at the house. Deep, e you know, easily. So, yeah, this vlog is really basically a catch-up date style vlog onto you know my life you know my background uh, you know like I said I really haven't been out and about to do too much and when I have I've honestly just uh, enjoyed it with the fam you know because we've gone out together and you know my daughter once again I mentioned it probably over a year ago you know it's not always about the content that you have to hold this camera up and record every little thing you could just you know enjoy the memories and uh that's what i also have uh taken into aspect as well it's not like i'm getting paid to do any of this or share it out there anyway this is just a little hobby and therapeutic thing for me to do you know if i actually had the followers like youtube should probably do you know put put me out there to to get if i actually saw a difference then maybe i'd give a little bit more but you know it is the way it is and not to really rant piss pitch and moan about it but uh you know i've noticed even on different platforms you know you get people hitting you up on your dms trying to tell you hey you know if you pay me a certain amount of money i'll get you a thousand subs for sure you know and, and i'm realizing that this whole interweb thing is just another construct of reeling you in to a greed aspect for money once again in one way or another and I'm not about that you know I've learned to, to let go on a lot of financial sickness is the best way I could say it that just pretty much wraps up a lot of it uh, to free up myself and be more happy without having to chase things so hard and lose out on the other precious things you really enjoy doing as well. Do I enjoy this? Yes, I do. But on the back side, like I said, it's not like I'm getting paid to do it. If I was, well, that's a different story. So yeah, I only post and share when I can and how I can and what I can uh, because I can. And I don't think I'm really out there to uh, jump on a bandwagon of pain to just get a thousand more subs and then it just stops there again for just a thousand more or whatever you know i i don't know maybe i'm ignorant to that side of it but you know what maybe when uh, that time comes if it comes that i really want to push another button and find out where it goes i just might but in the meantime i am who i am and i'm okay with that Okay, I think I've done enough piss bitching and moaning, uh, but we will probably get back into recording and sharing here and there and everywhere uh, once this weather clears up a little bit more. 
Uh, maybe also when my time frees up a little bit more, you know, all the all in all, uh, you know, I've got three vehicles here trying to keep them going. Been putting them in the shop here and there. Uh, nothing really drastic. Just trying to fix this, that, and the other to get them almost back to 100%. They're usually at 85, 90, meaning there's a service engine light on each one. But I'd like to find out on why. I mean, it's not like you can really feel too much. Uh, Mama's car, ball of lightning. It's got a little vibration, but we just got brand new tires on that one. And also we got the bullet right here that I've been driving. This is, uh, you know, the little one's car. And uh, we're driving it right now until she's ready to start driving. And uh, that hopefully we'll be within this year. So, you know, that takes up that extra time. But hey, we at least drive it and make sure she's good to go. And she's got a service light on her too. But other than that, she's running pretty smooth. Just got a couple little things. Had a chip in the windshield, got that fixed. Other than just a little bit of hail damage and a little ding here and there, this, this vehicle is tip top for her. Good boy. Getting himself a drink and uh, yeah. This is how we have it set up in here for him. So you just jump in, go to the back if he wants. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've kind of got this set up basic and simple for him. But yeah, her car is definitely bougied out in luxury compared to the brick and mama's car, Ball Lightning. And uh, you know what? It's okay. My next upgrade might be one of these things because I just like the way she drives and you know how simplistic it is it's really cool and for it to have all these little extra uh, commodities uh, for its uh, age and whatnot of this vehicle it's an 04 GMC Envoy six cylinder four wheel drive look it up it's pretty cool okay we're back in the car and uh, yeah we're pretty much done with uh, our decent little walk right now and had a chance to sit there and I guess uh, you know chat and flap the lips a little bit more than I usually ever do uh, so uh, we're gonna pretty much wrap this one up for that and just uh, wanted to share uh, where we're at And that's a wrap on that. Catch you on the next flip flop. Ha 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 